So we've been raising chickens for three years now, uh, in, almost entirely on compost that we get from local organic sources and for grain that we barter with uh, local organic farms. Our chickens cost us about one penny per day per bird on average, maybe a tiny bit more but not much. We get really high quality eggs and we get about four wheelbarrow loads of compost per week that comes out of this system. What I would love to do in this video is share, after three years of experimenting with this, what sort of tools, techniques, and design considerations have gone into play that makes this work really well for us. I'll admit, I would say we're still completely novice in a lot of ways, but maybe there are some ideas here that are useful to you, and hopefully you can get something out of it. So let's look at this system and explore some of the design and uh, tools that are involved in this. So one thing that you'll notice as you look in this space is, uh, or maybe you'll notice this, is that we have basically a flow pattern. It's a nutrient flow pattern. And what we've tried to do is design it where raw incoming food scraps begin in one bay. And you'll notice there's a uh, technique here that I'm using that's incredibly low-tech, really easy to replicate. I'm using locust. You could use uh, oak. Don't use pressure treated, but some sort of good hardwood. And these are boards that aren't useful for other projects, but they've got really nice strong feet with screws into them, out, uh, exterior grade screws. These are great for making dividers for different sections. And so the raw compost comes into the first bay. It's mixed with charcoal to soak up excess nutrient and odor and so the chickens can start breaking down the charcoal and incorporating it. If you're interested in making your own charcoal, I'll link here to uh, a whole playlist where we talk about making biochar or charcoal in a wood stove, outside, whatever. We won't get into that now. But charcoal and raw ingredients come in. As they work on this, I use a five-tine strong hay fork Sometimes these are called manure forks. This is my preferred tool of choice. And I get under the material, I lift it, and I turn it, always moving to the next section, to the next section, to the next section. So raw gets turn, 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 so that there's space for the new raw material to come in. At a certain point here, we add some grain to it to have the grain be able to sprout. And I'm going to pause here, and we'll take a closer look at that. So we've got our main area where we're putting in the raw food scraps, turning it, turning it, turning it, moving it closer and closer to the finished area. And again, you can see each time I turn it, I move it further along. And it'll be going from here into the primary finishing area. And then the true finishing area is that last one. We just cleared that out recently. But we have a secondary waste stream coming in. This may or may not be interesting or useful for your situation. But in this case, we're putting in all of the weeds, the garden scraps, uh, things that have lots of seed load, etc. You can see right now, in fact, I just mowed the lawn tonight with a push mower. They love getting nice, fresh salad from the lawn. And so these raw ingredients come in at the top of this area, and you'll notice that it's positioned so that gravity brings the material down. So each time I turn this a little bit, I'm aiming it further and further down slope. It may seem that I'm being rude and just throwing it on the chickens, but I've learned that they really don't move. So I just throw it gently, and they figure it out. And you can see that what's happening here is we've got hay and wood chips and seeds that we've been collecting. And then I'm also adding in whole wheat seeds, corn seeds, millet, sunflower. That's where our expense comes in, is millet and sunflower seed. The rest of these we barter for. And so the lawn clippings, the weeds from the garden, the stalks, the food scraps, the hay and the wood chips, 
all converge to start creating heat. This is actually pretty warm and it sprouts these seeds. So it's basically a conveyor belt of tumbling organic matter going down slope and each time I turn it they get more and more of the sprouted seeds out of it. You'll see the last pile when I go to turn that it still has some sprouts so it keeps them interested but we turn it enough times that hopefully they finish those sprouts but then we know that when that leaves the gar leaves from here into the garden we can expect some weeds to germinate. So the first season we try to transplant in and mulch it heavily. I'll cut away to some shots of what those garden beds look like. We get four wheelbarrow loads of it a week uh, and we're paying a cent a day per bird for this system. It's working really beautifully for us. So hopefully some of these basic workflows and ideas are interesting to you. And uh, we'll cut away to the last shot here of turning the last, uh, second to last compost bay. So this is the second to last bay, and you can see there's still sprouts. In fact, that's what they're mainly interested in. And this is basically from that last shot where you saw the raw um, garden weeds and lawn clippings, etc. to this point is about three weeks. It's really fast. And one thing you'll notice is that when I use the hay fork or this manure fork, what I never do is from up high poke it down. In three years I've never poked a chicken, knock on wood, but what I've found is that if I take it and I touch the material and once it's on there I can then push in. I'll never hurt a bird. And I'll just keep taking this and flipping it, piling it up and letting them kick it apart. Once it seems like it's sprout free, it'll go to the final bay once it's in here, for a while, it'll go into the wheelbarrow and go up to the gardens to generate food for us. And so that's how our chickens are the heart of this engine of fertility production while feeding us. So hopefully this is useful to you and some little tidbits will work. Thanks for watching. They like the sprouts.